Welcome to our proof of Theorem 2.5, which says that the internal bisector of an angle divides the opposite side into two segments proportional to the sides of the triangle adjacent to the angle. What that means is if we take an internal bisector, say at point B, and we look at how that divides the segment, the opposite side, it says that the ratio of the length of AD to the length of DC should be equal to the length of AB that should be equal to the ratio of the length of AB to the length of BC. And to see why this is true, we're going to actually construct a larger triangle, uh, which will turn out to be uh, similar to the triangle ABC given here. So we're going to take this line segment, DB, and we're going to construct a line parallel to that through the point C. And then we're going to extend the line segment AB uh, out to meet this new line. And then we're going to construct the point E as the intersection of those two lines. Now notice that since DB is parallel to EC here, the uh, angles here should match. So this angle ABD should be equal to angle BEC. Uh, and for similar reasons, angle DBC should be equal to angle BCE. Now, of course, since BD is an angle bisector, that means that these red angles here are equal to equal in measure to these green angles here, which tells us that triangle BCE is an as an isosceles triangle. So in particular, side BC has exactly the same length as side BE. Now this is going to be important because we're now going to point out that triangle ABC, whoa, triangle ABC here, or yeah, triangle ABD here is similar to triangle AEC. So the ratio of AB to BE is going to be equal to the ratio of AD to DC. Now since BE has exactly the same length as BC, that tells us that the ratio of AB to BC is equal to the ratio of AD to DC, exactly as we wanted. 